Now, this is how it's supposed to be, okay? Now you can see the effect is kind of exaggerated when you put it in third person mode. This is how it's supposed to be. So now even with the pistols, it looks like this. Hey guys, Dean here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn normal CS2, what you're looking at here, into a body cam style looking game. So games like Unrecord, realistic military sim games, games like Ready or Not, this is what we're gonna do to CS2. Please first note that we're gonna need to do this in an offline match because we can't do this online because it requires the use of SV Cheats 1, which is the command in CS2 to turn on cheat mode. Now, this is completely legal. It's a CS2 command that Valve created, but you can't do this online. Now, you can do this in a private game, and it's very simple and straightforward. And there was a bot who just did the headshot. <laughs> that definitely looked like the bot was cheating. And I'm going to show you the console commands. And we want to first enable the console. So the console, when we press the escape key, we go to settings, we go to game, and then enable developer console should be turned on. So select yes. And then the key below the escape key, which is called the tilde key on Windows on your keyboard, just press that. That will open up the console. So now from here, what we can do is we can type in a few commands. So the first one would be SV cheats and then one. In source two, which is the engine CS2 is built on, it should usually be SV cheats true instead of SV cheats one. Because if you type in SV Cheats 1, it basically does the same thing, but that's the new command. Then you can also type in third person, and that allows you to actually play the game in third person mode, which is pretty cool. Not many people have tried this because it's definitely not really a third person game, but this is one of my favorite commands. Of course, if you would want to go back into first person, you just type in first person. Then from here, we're going to type in C, third person, shoulder, true. Then we're going to type in C, max distance, and then we're going to put nine. And then we're going to type in C, min distance, and we're going to set that to eight. Then we're going to type in C, third person shoulder height. That should be minus 2.4. C, third person shoulder offset should be 4.1. Then type in CL weapon sway scale. Change that to 10. FOV, CS, debug, 75. So that is the first set of commands. And now you can see everything is extremely zoomed in. So now you can see there's weapon sway when we look around corners. It's kind of trippy in a way because it just doesn't feel like CSGO. And now you can see when we move around corners, it kind of has that sway effect. It's really close up. It looks like we're playing a tactical military sim game. Now, if you don't like this, of course, you can set everything back to default. It's probably going to enforce the actual view models and stuff if you're in a competitive game, because this is obviously technically giving you an advantage. So you can't use this online. If you do try to use this online, well, actually, there's no point because you can't use it online. You can't enable CS cheats online. But as you can see, it just makes the game seem completely different. You don't really realize it unless you're using a large gun, which takes up most of the field of view, because this is basically just increasing your field of view so everything just looks so zoomed but it does take up a little bit of your screen your weapon is kind of pulled back but if you're kind of bored of cs and you want to make things a little bit different this is how to do it i originally got the idea for this from a steam guide by users key res and mockamo and they created this original thing right so i just use the commands and this is the result pretty crazy so if you used to play military sim games if you've seen that crazy game with those like realistic graphics that was made in unreal engine 5 which was called unrecord then this is basically kind of like that now this would be even cooler if there was obviously like a fisheye effect or maybe like a body cam overlay which would be pretty cool and to be honest it actually feels kind of nice when you're actually going versus enemies with this okay where's this last guy let's see if i can actually complete the round playing in this style oh there's two bots left they're supposed to be protecting the hostages so i don't know where they are they weren't hiding in the officers Oh, there's one. Okay, that's one dink. Where would the other be? Would he be in T-spawn? Okay, we have one bot left. There's two. Oh, he's in here. Oh, we didn't get the hostage. Round's lost. Is he hiding in here? He's literally just sitting next to the cabinets. <laughs> now, like I said, you could also try in third person mode and that actually makes it better. Now, this is how it's supposed to be, okay? Now you can see the effect is kind of exaggerated when you put it in third person mode. This is how it's supposed to be. So now even with the pistols, it looks like this. So make sure, I forgot to mention that before I showed a bit of gameplay, but make sure you put third person mode on as a command because then you get this crazy sway because it actually zooms out the character model. It kind of shoulder surfs for you and then you get the actual main effect, which is a lot more exaggerated. So this actually looks way crazy when we're playing in third person mode and this is how it's supposed to be played. Okay, let's see if we can win one more round like this. Oh my God, that looks so weird when we did that. Look how the pistols look. Wait, let's try and do that again with the pistol. Oh my God, that's gnarly. Look at that, bro. And also kind of aims down the middle of the iron sights for kind of like a realistic look. Yeah, the, day, the game... Oh. 
Okay, that's actually hard to control the pistol like that. Why are you walking back, bro? I'm literally behind you. <laughs> so yeah, if you use some kind of software for like graphical capabilities, like I guess you could use Reshade or Nvidia, something that would like add that kind of like overlay to the screen where it looks like a body cam. You could also do that. I'm not really sure if those are VAC compliant though. I'm not sure if they're against the rules. So I wouldn't recommend downloading a third party tool like Reshade because I think that does actually inject DLL files into the game's memory. So that would probably give you a ban. So I would not recommend doing that because I think that's against Valve's terms of service. But just doing what I've showed you in this video by changing a few commands, which are already native and built into the game, um, is it's completely legal and safe for your account as long as you play it in an offline mode because obviously you can't use SV cheats online anyway. But just look how crazy the weapon sway is. The AK just looks so cool. It feels like I'm playing Call of Duty right now. Okay, where are these? There's three bots, but where are they though? They're probably all just AFKing in this office like last time. Just hidden. Okay, they're not in the corner. It's kind of funny though, like how the bots are supposed to be protecting hostages, but they're just like chilling somewhere random on the map. Wait, P90, that should be interesting. Oh my god, look at the P90. Okay, so it's kind of like a lucky dip if you test some other weapons. You don't really know what you're going to get. Yeah, this looks crazy, dude. The pistol's the most fun, because like with peeking, it actually feels like a real like action movie or something. Okay, coast is clear. There's always someone dead in that corner, and it always looks so vicious. Okay, corner checked. The recoil is kind of weird though, because like if you look on CS2, your crosshair moves to the recoil as long as you enable that command. But when like you turn on this kind of mode, it just makes your weapons just feel so weird to fire. But yeah, if you found this video entertaining and also useful in some way, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. And also leave any comments below if you have any kind of problems setting this up and I'll try and help you out. Like I said, credit to the original guide by Kirez and Mokomo. They made it on Steam and it was super fun to test this out. And like I said, just have loads of fun with it because it just feels like a completely different game. And make sure to subscribe because I'm showing some really unique stuff on CS2 right now that I'm not seeing anyone else do on YouTube. So if you want to kind of be first to see how to do all these cool stuff, then you definitely need to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting a lot of exclusive videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon.